Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and on this quick little video, I'm going to be talking to you about the metal detector. So let's go ahead and look at it and see what it is and how it works. When you go up to the workbench, and after you've gone to Caravan Island, you've gotten all the notes, and you've gotten the blueprint for the metal detector, you can go ahead and learn it here, and then you can craft it. Um, I will say though, in the description, it says, helpful for finding precious metal. Hmm precious metal that is a new a new type of metal that I'm assuming is our titanium that we have to smelt into titanium ingot and it says with the description that you need to bring a shovel so on my hotbar you can see that I have the metal detector and I have the shovel now I'm at Caravan Island I've already completed the quest to get myself the metal detector I'm actually ready to go to the next island but I wanted to go ahead and show you how it works after you've crafted your metal detector and just to show you real quick it requires six scrap 12 plastic and one battery go ahead and equip it and when you hold down left mouse button you're going to notice that when you're in a correct area that you'll start to get some dots appearing and the red dots indicate how close you are from it so when you first pull it out if you have few dots that means you're not very close to it as you get closer to the desired area you're going to notice that the dots are going to increase and they're going to become yellow you need to follow it around until you can find out where it is that you need to dig. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And you will notice as well too that the durability, there we go, there's a green dot. The durability goes down as you use it, as you hold down left mouse button. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to keep it out and it looks as though I need to go up higher. And I'm just following the dots. And there we go. You can hear the noise. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and equip my shovel and I'm going to dig. And I've unlocked an achievement as well too. And once you've dug it enough, you can go ahead and pick it up. And there we go, guys. In my inventory, you can see that not only did I pick up some resources, but I also picked up some three titanium ore and it says it can be smelted into titanium ingot so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to go ahead and pull out my metal detector and there are more places for me to dig so pull out your metal detector and farm up your your titanium ore so that you can get the titanium ingot you're going to need titanium ingot especially for some of the newer things that are in raft that time I did not get any. So just keep on looking for more areas to dig. All right, there's another spot on Caravan Island as well too. Getting closer. Getting further away, maybe over here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and equip our shovel and dig here. So no titanium ore off that, and it doesn't look like you're always guaranteed the titanium ore. So let's go to a different island and let's test and see if you can dig off of different islands besides just Caravan Island to get your titanium ore. Alright guys, um, I went ahead and I still have Caravan Island's code on the receiver itself. This is my code for Caravan Island and I'm up to a green dot and this looks like an island that is a smaller version of Caravan. So let's go up to this type of island and see what it is that we can harvest if we can harvest anything with the metal detector. So again, this is one of the newer islands, the quote-unquote animal island. It shows up green on the actual receiver itself too, so it's part of the new update. Alright, so immediately coming out here, pulling out the metal detector. Yes, I can find areas here. And look guys, there are actual animals too on this island. This is actually the first time that I'm on this particular type of an island. And it seems as though the area is somewhere around here. There we go. So pull out your shovel. Go ahead and dig. 
And it appears as though there's three different types of variants, and I'm assuming this is going to give me the titanium ore. Yes, it did. Okay, so the chest, and I also got a cassette as well, too. I got an EDM cassette, which I'm going to go ahead and put that into my into my cassette player. So you can pick up cassettes and other items as well, too, besides just the titanium ore. Um, the making the metal detector is definitely worth it. So let's go ahead and again, we're going to test this on the different islands to see if you can actually get anything else. Just checking this island one last time to see if there's any more metal that I can harvest. I've arrived at a regular animal island and I'm pulling out the metal detector now. Not immediately seeing anything. I'm going to scout around. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you can get... You can use the metal detector on the animal islands as well, too. Let me get rid of this pig real quick, and then we can locate where this chest is. Alright, just keep following it. Must be getting closer. Up. Oh. There we go. Alright, pull out your shovel. Make sure you have that equipped. Go ahead and dig this up. And again, I'm going to assume that because of the way that this looks, I may or may not get... Yeah, no titanium ore. It looks like it comes out of the, the locked chest. Let's see if there's any more areas on this island to dig up. Yes, there is immediately. Just showing you everything that I get. And here we go. Let's dig up this area. No titanium from that one. Let's keep checking. Alright, and the last island that I wanted to test it on is a very small island like this that you encounter pretty much all the time in Raft. So let's go up here. And yes, it is spotting an area for us to dig. Let's just get up to the top, because I'm assuming that's where it wants us to be. There we are. Pull out the shovel. Dig up. No titanium off of that one. But you still get some really good things as well. So... Now that we've got the titanium and we also have ourselves an EDM cassette, let's go ahead and smelt down the titanium because that's what the metal detector is used for. And let's see what we can do. And again, this is after you've completed Care of an Island and you've gotten all the notes as well as all the blueprints. Let's go ahead and take that titanium ore, put it on our hotbar, and let's smelt it down. And it looks way different than all of the other metals. I have two left on me. I'm going to go to the workbench inside here. Let's see if it will learn us a... If we can learn the raw one first. Nope, we cannot research that. So it has to be smelted. So again, we're going to go ahead and wait for these to smelt down. And then we will get ourselves our titanium ingot. We can research one of those. And again, you need to research a piece of titanium ingot in order for you to learn some of the other items in-game. For example, the battery charger requires you to have learned the titanium ingot. So right here, battery charger, the only thing that I am missing is titanium ingot, and then I can craft it. And there we go. The titanium has smelted down. Let's pick up the ingot. 
That one's still cooking. And let's go ahead and take one to our workbench, put one inside, and go ahead and click research. And then you want to go ahead and learn everything that you need. So I need to learn the battery charger here. So now I can craft myself the battery charger. So it is a progression. You need the metal detector in order for you to get the material to learn the battery charger, um, etc. So that is how you use the metal detector, and that is how you get titanium ingot. Before we end it, though, let's go ahead and take that cassette and let's put it into the. Let's go ahead and put it into our tape recorder, our little boom box. Insert cassette. There we go. And let's go ahead and turn it on. And there's the new music. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please consider liking, subscribing, and hit the bell icon for more notifications of when I upload next. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video of Raft.